Hello students, I am Mankar Sukhi, Economist of Chemistry, Vijayanagar College, Haspet. I will take the thermodynamics part 2 for the PSC third sum. And I will be studying now calculation of efficiency of a Carnot engine working between two temperatures T1 and T2. In the previous class already we have studied the definition of this Carnot cycle. Now for 4 marks or 6 marks, we will ask the question how to calculate the efficiency of a Carnot engine working between two temperatures T1 and T2. For this, this is the diagram pressure against volume. So we have the four different operations carried out here. So a Carnot engine consists of an imaginary cylinder. We have to imagine this cylinder containing one molecular energy gas as the working substance and fitted with weightless frictionless piston so that all the operations, that is four operations in the cycle carried out reversibly. Cylinder is supposed to be insulated on all sides except at the bottom so that heat can flow to or from the system only through the bottom. Further, it is supposed that there are two heat reservoirs, one at higher temperature T2 called the source and the other at a lower temperature T1 called the sink. Two important reservoirs are there, one is source, another one is sink. Four different operations are carried out as shown below. One by one we can study now. The first one, isothermal expansion. The gas is allowed to expand reversibly and isothermally at the temperature T2. The volume increases from, expansion is volume increases from V1 to V2. Here it is the V1 to V2. Isothermal expansion is there from A to B. <coughs> and it absorbs heat Q2. It absorbs heat Q2 from source. Because source is supplying the heat. Since the gas is ideal, the work done W1 by 1 mole of the ideal gas is given by W1 is equal to RT2 plus V2 by V1. R is gas constant, temperature, absolute temperature T2, volume V2 and volume V1. This is the work done. This is taken as equation 1. Further, work done by the system is equal to heat absorbed in Q2 so that W1 is equal to Q2. Both are the same is equal to RT2 plus V2 by U1. This is equation 2. Here both W1 and Q2 are the positive quantities. The path is shown by the isothermal curve AB from A to B. This is the isothermal expansion. This is the error marks. Temperature is T2, pressure T1, pressure P2, volume V1, volume V2. Second is adiabatic expansion. The cylinder is now removed from the source. Initially it is kept on the source. Now it is removed from the source and placed in the perfectly insulating material so that the gas now expands adiabatically. You know the catalytic system. Isothermal system means, in this isothermal system means there is no change of heat. But in the adiabatic system, no heat enters in the system. In system. This, this gas expands automatically and reversibly. Since work is done by the system automatically, it is not in a position to absorb heat. So the temperature of system falls from T2 to T1. Here the temperature falls, initial temperature increases. Now gas is allowed to expand from V2 to V3. This is V2 to this is V3. Alright, this is V3. Let us see. The path is shown. So the temperature of system falls from this T1 to T2 to T1. Gas is allowed to expand from V2 to V3. The path is shown by the curve BC. Curve BC. What done by the system adiabatically is given by W2 is equal to Cv T2 minus T1. This is equation 3. Whereas W2 is the positive quantity. What done is the positive quantity? The Cv is called heat capacity of an ideal gas. Third is isothermal compression. Here the cylinder is removed from the insulating material and placed in contact with the sink at a lower temperature T1. Because sink is at a lower temperature T1. The gas is compressed isothermally and reversibly till the volume decreases. This is the compression, so the volume decreases from V3 to V4. So V3 to V4. Path is shown by isothermal curve CD. CD. 
what the Lange system is taken as negative by the convention and hence given by minus W3 is equal to RT1 plan V4 by V3 this is equation number 4 during the operation heat Q1 is given out there is loss of heat given out to the surroundings at a temperature T1 that is Q1 is negative because of this heat is given out here Q1 is negative then minus Q1 negative quantity is equal to minus W3 is equal to RT1 plan V4 by V3 this is equation number 5 last operation this is fourth operation adding the operation here the cylinder is removed from the sink removed from the sink and placed again on the insulating material the gas is then compressed adiabatically and reversibly along DA along DA till the initial state A is regained this is the initial state what we have started initially temperature of the gas rises from T1 to T2 here the temperature rises from T1 to T2 work done on the system is negative and is given by minus W4 is equal to Cv into T1 minus T2 or can interchange these two terms so minus Cv into T2 minus T1 or can write this as minus W4 is equal to minus Cv into T2 minus T1 this is equation 6 as a result of these four operations first operation is isothermal expansion second operation adiabatic expansion third operation is isothermal compression fourth operation adiabatic compression four operations the system has returned to its original state this is the original state so that a reversal cycle has been completed so this uh, system is a reversal cycle which is completed now we have calculated the net work done so net work done by the system is given by summation of all the four w is equal to w1 plus w2 plus of minus w3 plus of minus w4 we put all the values in the previous expressions what we have derived now so w is equal to rt2 ln v2 by v1 this is w1 w2 is cv into t2 minus v1 plus of minus w3 this is rt1 ln v4 by v3 next is minus w4 is minus cv into t2 minus t1 this plus cv t2 minus t1 minus cv t2 minus t1 gets cancelled opposite uh, values so remaining quantity w is equal to rt2 into ln v2 by v1 plus rt1 ln v4 by v3 this is equation number 7 net heat absorbed in one cycle is calculated as follows if q is the net heat absorbed in one cycle then q is equal to q2 plus of minus q1 net means positive put minus q1 is the negative quantity is equal to q2 minus q1 where q2 is heat absorbed by system in operation 1 q1 heat transferred to the sink loss of heat is there so that it is designated as minus quantity so from equations 2 and 5 we get q is equal to q2 minus q1 q2 is rt2 ln v2 by v1 q1 is rt1 ln v4 by v3 after simplification we get rt2 ln v2 by v1 so just take the reciprocal of these two minus rt1 ln v3 by v4 this is equation number 8 according to expressions governing adiabatic changes direct expression is there t2 by t1 is equal to v3 by v2 to the power of gamma minus 1 for adiabatic expansion so t2 by t1 is equal to v4 by v1 to the power of gamma minus 1 for adiabatic compression direct expressions are there these two then after simplification both are in terms of t2 by t1 so these two are equal all this are equal because the other are equal so v3 by v2 to the power of gamma minus 1 is equal to v4 by v2 to the power of gamma minus 1 gamma minus 1 is equal to post x gets cancelled we have v3 by v2 is equal to v4 by v1 take the arrangements make arrangements in this case v3 by v4 v4 is going to be this side v2 is going to be this side so v3 by v4 is equal to v2 by v1 this is equation number 9 substitute the value of v3 by v4 in equation 8 in this expression we get q is equal to rt2 ln v2 by v1 minus rt1 ln this replaced by v2 by v1 since v3 by v4 is equal to v2 by v1 from equation 9 therefore next is q is equal to r 
learn v2 by v1 common factors in these two difference is t2 minus t1 how to calculate in the another way simply q is equal to r into t2 minus t1 it will learn v2 by v1 this is equal to by 10 last part in this is calculation of the thermodynamic efficiency efficiency means it is another is the correction कार्य दक्षते अथवा दक्षते अंत है कार्यक्षम होते हैं तो दक्षते सिंस टोटल वर्क डन इन साइकिल इज इक्वल टू नेट हीट अब्जर्व देन इक्वेशन 7 एंड इक्वेशन 10 आर इक्वल प्रीवियसली व्हाट इज सी इक्वेशन 7 इक्वेशन 10 आर इक्वल सो आवर डब्ल्यू इज इक्वल टू आर टी टू लैंड वी टू बाय वी वन प्लस आर टी वन लैंड वी फोर बाय वी थ्री आर डब्ल्यू इज इक्वल टू आर टी टू लैंड वी टू बाय वी वन माइनस आर टी वन लैंड वी टू बाय वी फोर टेक द रिसिप्रोकल प्रोसेस वी कर दें नेगेटिव साइड यार आर डब्ल्यू इज इक्वल टू आर टी टू लैंड वी टू बाय वी वन माइनस आर टी वन लैंड वी टू बाय वी बिकॉज़ वी थ्री बाय वी फोर आवर डू थ्रू दैट दिस वी थ्री बाय वी फोर इज इक्वल टू वी टू बाय वी वन अकॉर्डिंग टू द इक्वेशन नाइन सो वी गेट दिस तब्बीज इक्वल टू आर इन वन कॉमन फैक्टर वी टू मनस टी वन सो लैंड वी टू बाय वी वन दिस इज इक्वेशन नंबर लेवन सो दिस इज द टोटल वर्क डन इन द साइकल दिस इज आल्सो इज टोटल नेट हीट अब्जर्व व्हाट इज द डेफिनेशन ऑफ दिस एफिशिएंसी ऑफ द हीट इंजन द रेशियो ऑफ द वर्क ऑब्टेंड इन अ साइकिल प्रोसेस डब्ल्यू to the heat taken from the high temperature reservoir that is q is called efficiency of heat engine that means efficiency is equal to can be said eta is equal to w by q2 is equal to r e2 minus q1 ln v2 by v1 q2 is r t2 ln v2 by v1 so ln v2 by v1 gets cancelled r r gets cancelled Around the terms t2 minus t1 divided by t2, that is eta is equal to t2 minus t1 by t2. This is called the important term efficiency of heat engine. This efficiency gives the fraction of the heat taken from the high temperature reservoir, which is possible to convert into work by heat engine. Heat is taken from the high temperature reservoir. In this case, high temperature reservoir we have chosen the previous case is source. So, which is possible to that amount is possible to convert into work by heat engine. So, by using this, we can say there are two important notes here. First one, eta efficiency is always less than one. Since T2 minus T1 by T2 is less than one, or less than 100 percent, one means 100 percent. No engine is having this efficiency equal to 100 percent. It is always less than the 100 percent. Second one. Greater the difference between temperature of the source and the sink, greater is the efficiency. That means if the temperature of source is increasing or temperature of the sink is increasing, then we get the more efficiency or greater will be the efficiency. These are the important two notes. Thank you all.